uh, we've seen Cam and um, Cam and, Cam and Jigs. We've seen uh, Burp and Magic now. Burp we've and seen Prom Queen Condi. Prom Queen Condi. Mentos Youngs. Yeah. Lots of lots of great doubles talent in North Carolina. Yeah, I'm excited but, to see uh, Mentos Youngs versus Puppet Bacon. But Puppet Bacon, quite the hill to climb. Sova, yeah. you guys, you guys got quite the keeper. What a banger track. I'm so excited to end this <laughs> game one. The, the funny thing is we've seen all all of these players play each other like individually. Never seen them play Together, like this yeah. in doubles. Yeah, that's the great thing. You're, it's always like kind of theory crafting. You know, you've seen each one of these players beat each other, but uh, doubles, yeah, doubles and, uh, is such a different world. Magic actually choosing to go Palutena instead of Inkling, which oh, I can definitely yeah. see that. Amazing yeah, amazing doubles character. Oh my goodness, he, he able to able to extend the combos. The other players got like 25 years to be like, oh, she's nearing him. I can I can extend this, especially if you're Wario. Yeah, crazy damage. And the benefit as well is oh, if wow the SG. Geez, that is not what you want to see this early. Goes greedy down air, doesn't get the spike, and he dies for it. And the good thing as well is both these players do have alternate characters. Furf with the uh, the Sonic. Furf with the Sonic. And uh, Magic with the Inkling. Magic so if this does not go well. Inkling. Magic the Inkling is the one with the sauce. Right? Yeah, that's, that's the one that's uh, kind of been on a tear in North Carolina. We don't have an active Inkling player, and so Magic definitely taking advantage of that. Mm -hmm. Oh, and great maneuvering around uh, Bananime's projectiles on Furf's end. Uh, Furf, is, Furf is no stranger to the way that both of these guys play. Play weekly. Play yeah, Furf and, uh, Furf and Cyphus have played a lot. And every set almost always goes to 35 minutes. <laughs> they do. Oh, Furf Cyphus sets are like a feature length film. Yeah. Uh, but they're, they're doing a very good job of just keeping that. Bananime and Cyphus between them. Oh, yeah, absolutely. They, they are. They're, they're definitely doing a good job at constricting the movement of these two. Yeah. They're constricting... Not letting them get any setups. Yeah, not letting them get setups or projectiles. They finally take the second stock off of the uh, blue team. Yeah, it turns uh, out you don't really need fun. a setup when you've got 11 forward air. Wow, Band Anime goes for that greedy full hop trying to get a damaging combo, but Furf ready with the up smash. Nosferatu, good damage, good healing. We see that back air coming from Bin Anime. Uh, pretty normal interaction. But, yeah. Uh, definitely gonna get a kill for it. Just kind of, just kind of throwing it out there. You know, you're, you're always, eventually someone's gonna run into it. You know. Yeah, and Toon Link. Uh, yeah, dying to that Wario forward air there. Bin Anime trying to confirm the stock, but not quick, giving it to quick him. Here. Uh, but we see right now, uh, kind of facing off in their own little one v ones. Uh, which is kind of like, which is kind of a way that a lot of these kind of mid-game uh, doubles, doubles games usually go is that they, they sort of always end up having that phase where it's just kind of a 1v1 yeah. on both ends and then you just sort of converge, which is uh, what you're seeing Magic taking the brunt of that convergence, 91%. Yes. That said, I mean, oh, okay, that Nosferatu did help a little bit. Um, I was going to say, before that Nosferatu, uh, green team still... Had taken more percent, but now uh, definitely blue team is on the back foot here. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We've Magic got a full walk, though, though, so if he can get any kind of setup. Magic really tried looking fancy at 105% straight into Young Link and Robin. <laughs> Close oh, Gets wow, the great kill. up B. No, doesn't get the kill. But that Palutena up there, up, up yeah, there. really strong move. Waff's still switch. online. Ooh, great get up attack. People just always forget that that's an option. You just like why do you why do you even have to deal with these uh with these baits sometimes? Just whack them for it. Yeah, and Saif is gonna have to play as evasively as he can, landing that forward air boomer or boomerang the, forward air. The Back throw, not gonna kill, but puts in a great position. Very limiting, but Burf does oh, a great job getting back to stage, back to center. Cyphus can clutch this out in this situation. Again, these players have played a lot, so they know what they're looking for. Yeah, absolutely. And Cyphus, oh, so the <laughs> so the 35-minute the set begins. 
Yep. Uh, they are terrified of each other. Great run up, up smash. smash. Great run up, up smash. Barely killing Warrior there. Scythe is clutching it out 2v1. Yeah, that was fantastic. They're setting up for the uh, tech chase situation. Scythe has guessed right. Yeah. He clutches out game one. And sometimes that's all it is. You guess right on the tech chase and you win. Yeah, that's how that goes. That's how that goes. And Zayr, surprisingly good at getting the tech chase. Even that late in percents, too. Yeah, yeah. Moving on into game two, though. I mean, Banana Man Scythe is, uh, that's a pretty strong start. Um, it is, it is. The mental damage of winning a 2v1, or, you know, of winning the 1v2 is pretty good. Yeah, that's that's good. Scythe is working with a lot of confidence right now, a lot of, uh, a lot of heat. Uh, not to say, uh, I, I don't think that was very damaging for uh, for War Magic's kind of mentality in this set at all. Yeah. They were playing with a lot of heat in that first game. Uh, they really just got to close out those stocks just a little bit better. And uh, Yeah, and when they have the, the lead in that kind of a situation, just, you know, there's no reason to play that close to the corner, right? Like, that the, for the boomerang forward air killing Palutena at like 100 before the hit, there was no need for that situation to happen. And we go straight into game two. Town and city, a lot more space, a lot of platforms. We are, it might be a bit of a long game, but it gives uh, Firth the opportunity to kill much, much earlier with wafts. Could, yes. could even be going for some half wafts. We may see Firth is uh, kind of known for going for these half waft setups. Yeah, sometimes they work. Oh, yeah. They, they kill astoundingly low sometimes. Uh, Way lower than you would expect, killing at like 50%. It's crazy. Yeah. But uh, we're seeing a very even uh, first stock right now. It's kind of funny. Just the uh, Palutena's green hair makes it almost easy to think she's on the she's green on team. The green team is a 3v1. Yeah. Uh, it kind of, it kind of is. It kind of is. Uh, oh, so oh, great even catch with the bite. Great catch with the bite, and gets the uh, gimp on the right side of the screen. Yeah, so both a full stock up, you know, kill percent, but still a stock up. Oh, and catching uh, with that up smash. See, Magic's, Magic's going for the sauce, going for these uh, platform cancels, teleport cancels, and uh, starting to eat it, starting to eat some damage and some kills for it. So, uh, the way... So even Perf is doing such a great job stock tanking, getting waft on deck so that uh, he can go for some pretty scary. Oh wow, and that, that scooped up, him up some, so far away. Up he's gonna scoop. Yeah, I will say though, you know, um, he did a good job of stock tanking, but I don't feel like I remember seeing a single waft. Like he lost that previous game with full waft. Yeah, so right. I don't know if he's like waiting just you know a little bit too much and just needs to let it rip, or if he just really never had the opportunity to you know to use it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I totally get you. Um, so we see, oh, we got, we got magic off ledge. Completely, completely lets go of advantage with that attempted uh, F smash. Uh, I, I get the confidence, but uh, you, you kind of want to wait a little oh, bit. Oh, wow. And catching with that, not nearly enough, but Palutena almost dying off, I believe, that elf thunder. And uh, good awareness for... Magic not to fully outright punish that uh, missed up. Oh, and unfortunately, clipping uh, his own teammate with that Palo down air. Ooh, SDs right there. So we've got three stocks to two. Uh, very even match. Only a slight uh, percent lead on first end. Or only a slight percent lead on uh, Cyphus's end. end. Yeah, but uh, Cyphus definitely more keen on keeping that, keeping the lead. Staying far away from the action. Yeah, unfortunately, the back hit of that uh, down smash not being quite enough to kill uh, Furf at the percent that he's at. I oh, really wow, want to see him let this rip. It out. All right, and we see. Oh, great uh, weaving back just before he got hit by the uh, up air, only to get killed by the gentleman from the uh, from Robin. Exactly, exactly. And Magic, unfortunately, already a kill percent on his last stock. Firf going for some saucy uh, bike shenanigans. Yeah, Firf. Whoa! Gets caught by that Nosferatu. The gap only widens. Uh, finally throwing out that wall. There walk. it is. We finally get it. You were talking. You were talking about how he's not throwing it out. Firf says, "Watch me." 
Watch me, yeah. Watch. You see now, if they if they uh, beat Cyphus here, you know they're in the lead. Cyphus, yeah, they've got a good lead. They can handle the two v one against Robin. I think doesn't get the doesn't get that uh, insane shield damage, but back air is going to take it. Uh, and this is definitely a much harder two v one for uh, for Firth to beat than it yeah, was for are, Cyphus. These are two momentum destroying characters. Yeah, and, and that's not almost take it yet. Almost. And so now he has to play almost perfectly for, you know, either the full stock or another minute and a half. Oh, yeah. Never mind. It's just taking off say, the top of the court there. You could tell. You could tell. Ben Enemy was already in his already in his head. Was seeing these full hops. Was seeing these defensive options. He wanted the back airs. He wanted the up airs. But uh, was just barely missing them. It was yeah. only a matter of time until he finally guesses right and gets the right timing. Yep. 